what the Lord has laid as a burden in my heart. This very burden is important that I throw it to you, the sons and daughters of God. It's regarding the project of Glorious Mount of Possibility Church Auditorium. The reason why the Lord has asked me to come out and let you know about this is because this is going to be a point of contact to people who are ready to say, I'm going to be part of that project, this project that is going on in the house of God. The Lord has shown me, said, you will not only pray and prophesy to the people, you need to talk to the people, the sons and daughters of all the people all over the world, that something is going on, glorious amount of possibility. We are under the church auditorium construction. We are building and this building that is going on, a lot of people's miracle, a lot of people's blessing are going to be tied to it. And I was saying, let your sons and daughters now be aware of them, aware of the project going on. In any way, in any form, they want to be part of it. They want to be part of it is giving us one thing or the other for the materials, for the construction engineers, for financing or whatever the Lord lays in your heart. The Lord said, let everybody be part of the project. After this broker, they are going to make sure that they video the project after it has gone and make you to also see them. And then when you see them, decide within yourself and make your decision in this project that is going on. I want to be part of it. The account number of the church remains one account number that will be used for the project. Whatever you are putting there for the project, you write it for the project of the church building of glorious mount of possibility church. We cannot keep waiting to say, oh, we are carrying down like that on our own. The Lord said, I should throw it open to you so that you will be part of the project because any cover or shishi or whatever that you put in towards this project will come back to you beyond your thinking and imagination. It is going to also be that God has given you opportunity to build his house. And there's no how you will build the house of God and remain the same. So every one of you that are interested in this very church building to support the work of God in any form, in any way, God has given us grace all this while. We are able to, you know, have a way to be doing the service and the church and going on is a thing of blessing. Now that we want to make the construction and the building of the house of God perfect and fair, Anyhow, the Lord has laid in your heart. There's no amount that is too much for the building of the house of God. And there's no amount that is too small that is the building of the house of God. If I take you outside and show you so far what has been done and what is going on, you will really know that yes, good and big project is going on in the house of possibility. So whichever way the Lord has laid in your hand, make sure that you are part of this building God will surely bless you and multiply you and catapult you to the next level in Jesus' name. Another thing that the Lord is laying in my heart is to say to all of you, sons and daughters, from wherever you are and you're watching, from wherever you're connected with us, that His blessings and His plans and His purpose in your life is never in vain. It's never in vain. Everything that you are doing regarding the work of God is never in vain. They are all going to come back to you in a million fold. And as they are coming back to you, you will know that of a truth, you are dying with the Lord God Almighty. Nobody dies with the Lord God Almighty and remain the same. Thank you and God continue to bless you as your support in the project of God's house. Every support you give Toward this project, if it does not come back to you, that God will use it to build your life, to favor you, to prosper you, know that major prophet of God is not called by the Lord. <laughs> Where 
Let me be. Let 